Hello friends. So today we are going to see the stock span problem. We are going to see the problem with these two arrays. Okay. So this one array represents the value of the stock on each day. Okay. So this is zero day, first day, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Actually, there is no zero day. It is first day. But in our array, we consider the array starting from zero. Okay. Now, on each day, we find out the span of the stock. Now, what is the span of stock? So here it is written max number of consecutive days. just before the given day for which price is less than the current day price pi is the current day price so i'll give you an example see suppose this is the current day okay this fourth day price of the stock c it is 120 right now what are the elements less than 120 in this array So see, ninety is less than one twenty. Yes, ninety is less than one twenty. Yes. So one, five is less. Two, four is less than one twenty. Yes. Three, ten is less than one twenty. Yes. Four. So one, two, three, four, and the day itself. So this is also considered as one day in the span. So these four days plus that current day itself. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. So what is the span of the stock? Is five, right? Now let's go for this day, this fifth day. Okay. What is the value of this stock on this day, the current day? That is eighty. Now for this eighty, what can be the span of this stock? So see here. Now one twenty is greater than eighty, right? Ninety is greater than eighty, right? Five is less than eighty, so one, two, this four, and three. So one, two, three. So can the span of this stock be three and itself? That is four. No, it will not be because. the span of the stock is the max number of days and those days are consecutive means before 80 consecutively those days should come so now here before 80 there is 120 right so the chain is broken and we don't consider any value before that because they are not consecutive okay so see here what is the span of the stock on this day it is that day itself means only one so always remember the default span of stock is one okay so the default value is one but after that if we count the span of stock then for example for 120 it is 5 then let's see for 90 so see for this day for third day what is the span of this stock so see 5 is less than 90 yes and it is consecutive okay so go consecutive now 5 is less than 90 yes so 1 then 4 is less than 90 2 10 is less than 90 3 so these three days One, two, three, and that day itself, current day itself. So, what becomes the span? That becomes one, two, three, four. That current day and the three days before that. So, the span becomes four, right? Now, for the second day. So, what what can be the span of this stock? See, four is less than five. Yes. So, one and ten is. Greater than five, it is not less than five. So one and that day itself two. So the span will become two. Now for this day, ten is greater than four. So the span will be one itself. Okay. And for ten, there is no element before that, so 
the span is one itself. So this is how we find out the span of the stock. Now let's see in this above array. Okay. Let's go one by one. Right. Now for 100, see here. I will write the span here. For 100, the span is 1. Correct. Now for 80, is there any element less than 80 consecutively before 80? No. So it remains the default span. Now for 60, is there any element less than 60 consecutively? No. So the span remains 1. Now for 70, see, is there any element less than 70? See here. Yes. 60 is less than 70. So 1 and that day itself 2. So the span is 2. Now for this day see 60 for 60 is there any element less than 60. So see here what is the formula price is less than or equal to PI. So for 60 see here 60 is less than or equal to 60 correct. So can we take this day can we count this day no because it is not consecutive it is not consecutive right because see before 60 there is one day which is less than or equal to 60 but it is not consecutive 70 is there so the chain is broken okay so we cannot consider that day so the span remains one now for 75 see 60 is less than 75, 70 is less than 75, 60 is less than 75, 80 is not. Okay. So 1, 2, 3 and that day itself. So 4. Right. Now for 85. See 75 is lesser than 85, 60 is lesser than 85, 70 is less, 60 is less, 80 is less, 100 is not. So see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and that day itself. So, 6. So, this is the span of each day. Means it is the span of the stock on each day. Okay. So, this is how we find out the span of every stock. Now, we will go for the algorithm. The algorithm uses stack. So, now let's see the algorithm here. See, this is the algorithm for the implementation of stock span problem. As you can see, this is the price array here, price of the stock on each day and this is the span array. What is a span array? This is the span of the stock on each day, right? As you know, the default value is 1. So I have populated the array with value 1 in each cell, right? So the default span for every stock is one here. Now you see this is the stack. So this stack we are using to implement this algorithm. As I have told you we are using a stack and we are using these two variables. Right. So I am going to explain you this code by using this stack and these two variables. So let's follow the steps now. See here what is the first step that is push index i. So we are going to traverse through this array and we are going to call the index as i. Okay. So what is the first index c? i will initialize with value 0. Right. So at first we push that index 0 in the stack. Right. So you remember we don't push the element at index 0. We push the index itself. Okay. So index i. So let's push 0 here. Right. And what is the element at index 0? This top element is the element at index 0. And it is C. Element at index 0 is 100. So I will write this 100 here. So this variable always holds the element at the top index in the stack right so now see what is the current status 0 that is i equal to 0 is pushed in the stack and the element at index 0 that is the top element is 100 currently 
and what is the current element c as i is 0 this current element is also 100 correct because at i is equal to 0 what is the element that is 100 yes so now let's go in this for loop correct now see for i equals to 1 to n so i starts from 1 here because we have already processed index 0 now i will start from 1 so now i becomes 1 okay so what is the current element the element at index 1 so what is the element at index 1 that is 80 here so let's write 80 here okay so i is equal to 1 has been processed now let's go inside this loop so the condition in this loop is the first condition is if current element is less than or equal to top element so what is the current element that is 80 is it less than or equal to the top element yes it is because 80 is less than 100 so we go inside this if condition that is push index i so push the index what is the index i currently it is 1 right so you have to push this index so push that index in the stack right so as you have pushed the index into the stack so the stack will obviously get updated okay that is what i have written it here in the comment whenever you perform a push or a pop operation whenever you perform a push or a pop operation always update stack and the top element okay so see as one is pushed in the stack now the top is pointing to one here right and as the top has changed the top element will also change correct so element at index one here it is 80 right yes that's the thing so this step is processed here now you see as this if condition is satisfied we will not go into this else because this if condition is satisfied so this else is for this if okay this is if and this is else so this if condition is satisfied so we will not go into this else we will go for the next iteration of this for loop see this for loop holds this whole block this whole block okay see right okay now for i equal to 2 so i will increment so i becomes 2 what is the element at 2 see 60 so write 60 here okay 60 is written here now check if current element is less than or equal to top element whether 60 is less than 80 yes it is so go inside this if and push index i so what is the index i currently it is 2 so let's push 2 here now the top will be updated to 2 this is the top now and the top element now as the top is updated top element will also get changed so what is the top element the element at index 2 that is 60 okay because the top is 2 the element at index 2 will be written here as the top element now let's go to the next iteration i will become 3 now okay so what is the element at 3 that is 70 right so check if current element is less than or equal to top element so whether 70 is less than 60 no it is not so this if condition is not satisfied so we will go into this else okay now let's see in this else so in this else 
the first step is this while loop okay so what this while loop says it says see pop elements for current element greater than top element means see currently 70 is greater than 60 so you have to pop element from the stack correct you have to pop from the stack now if you pop from the stack here right so this index see the pop index it is stored in variable p so i'll write p here so what is p see this popped element means that index so so p is 2 currently now let's see the next step add span at p so what does this mean see this span okay so this is the span array and it holds the span at each index okay so what it says add span at index p means at index 2 this is the span at index 2 right in this array this is the index so span at index 2 is 1 and to what we have to add so add span at p plus means to what we have to add we have to add to the span at current i okay so see means what whatever the value of i right now so i is 3 so currently i is 3 means we are here so add span at p with the current span so this one i will add to this one okay so understand this step it will be very simple from the next iteration only for this iteration you focus so see currently we are at this element we are at this index index 3 because i is equal to 3 now when we pop element from the stack p becomes 2 okay because the pop element is 2 so add span at index 2 here with the current index so 1 plus 1 here it will become 2 okay so see what we did we popped the element and we added the span now when we popped the element the top got updated because see this element is popped so the top will get changed here now right so this is the new top now this is the new top so as the top is updated top element will also get updated what is the element at index 1 that is 80 element at index 1 is 80 so the top element got updated so see these two steps we have performed these two steps now you ask me what is this star this star is same as this whenever you push or pop an element from stack you have to update the stack and the top element that's what i have written as star see push here pop and again here push so i have made it star here okay so let's go to the next iteration of this while we have performed these two steps now let's go to the next iteration here so check again whether current element 70 is it greater than 80 no it is not now it is smaller than 80 correct so we come out of this while getting so see for this while this is the block and we come out of this while so when we come out of this while we push the index i so what is the index i here that is 3 so we push the current index 3 here so as the index is pushed here the top will be updated now the top will be this 3 as the top is updated this element will also get updated so what is the element at index 3 that is 70 okay so 70 right so now see this else block is over now we will go for the next iteration of 4 we will go to the next iteration of 4 see this is very simple in this 4 there is 
if and else that's it either if or else and we go for another iteration right so now i will become 4 for i equal to 4 what is the element that is 60 okay now now check this 60 current element is less than or equal to top element is it 60 is less than 70 yes it is so we go inside this if condition and we push this index what is the index that is 4 so see top got updated now as the top got updated this top element we have to update what is the element at index 4 that is 60 right now this step we have performed we go for the next iteration again now for the next iteration here i will become 5 now i will become 5 what is the element at 5 that is 75 element at 5 is 75 so check whether current element is less than or equal to top element whether 75 is less than 60 no it is not so we go into else now we follow the else block now in else block there is while loop at first what it says current element greater than top element yes current element is greater than top element and if it is so we pop so let's pop from the stack c the element 4 is pop so now p is equal to 4 correct and as we perform the pop operation the top will get updated because the element is popped now the top is updated to this and as top got updated the top element will also get updated so see for 3 the element is 70 so this pop operation is completed okay now what is the second step that is add span at p with the span at current index so what is the span at p index is 4 what is the span at index 4 that is 1 and we have to add this 1 with the current index span so this one this one i will write it here plus one this current index okay so one plus one this will become two right yes so now these two steps are performed so we go for another iteration of this while check whether current element is greater than top element again yes it is so what is the top element 70 that is the element at index 3 so 75 still greater than 70 so we will again go inside this while okay what is the first step first step is pop so let's pop this index 3 so here this 3 will be written here okay so the element 3 is actually an index so that is assigned to variable p so p is equal to 3 now as we are performing the pop operation you have to update the stack so see as pop is performed top is updated as top is updated top element will be updated so index 1 the element at index 1 is 80 right first step is performed now let's go to the second step and span at p with the span at current index so what is the span at p the span at index 3 okay so that is 2 and what is the current index that is 5 so here so i will write this 2 here plus 2 added okay so what is 2 plus 2 it is 4 right so this step is done and we again go for the next iteration of this while loop now check whether current element is greater than top element see 
whether 75 is it greater than 80 no it is not so we come out of this while and when we come out of this while there is one operation one step here push index i means push the current index so what is the current index that is 5 so let's push that index 5 see as this is the push operation here star is there means the stack gets updated right so we update the stack means the top is changed 5 is pushed so the top is changed here and what is the element at 5 see that element is 75 so the top element will also get updated right so this operation is performed right so now as this else block is completed let's again go to the next iteration of for now for i will become 6 okay incremented i is incremented so what is the element at 6 85 now check in this for loop first condition is current element less than or equal to top element check whether 85 is less than or equal to 75 no it is not so this if is not satisfied we go in else now in else there is first while so see what while checks current element greater than top element yes current element is greater than top element so first step is pop so we pop the top of the stack so 5 so this 5 is assigned to p okay p is equal to 5 and as we are performing a pop operation see this stack is updated right this element was popped so the top is changed as the top is changed see the index 1 80 so the element at index 1 will be here this top element will also change that is 80 okay so this first step is performed now let's go to the second step and span at p with the span at current index so what is the span at p index 5 see what is the span at index 5 that is 4 with the current index current index is 6 so i write this 4 here plus 4 okay so we have added the spans so what is 1 plus 4 1 plus 4 is 5 right these two steps are performed let's go to the next iteration of this while loop so while current element is greater than top element yes 85 is still greater than 80 so let's go inside this while loop the first step is p is equal to pop so let's pop so this one is popped so p becomes one okay now as the top is updated see now what is top top is this zero this top element will also get updated so what is the element at zero that is 100 okay now as this first step is performed let's go to the second step and spans so what is the span at index one here see what is the span that is this one so I write this one here plus one. See, I added this span at index one with the current index. Correct? So five plus one is six. So as these two steps are over now, see, we pop the element and we added the spans. So we will go for checking the while condition again. So while current element is greater than top element, see whether 85 is greater than 100, no, it is not. So this while condition is not satisfied and we come out of this while block. So we come out of this while block and once we come out, what is the operation? Push operation, correct? So push index i means the current index. What is the current index? 6. So i push 6 here. Now as there is a push operation, we update the stack. So the top is updated. And as top is updated, 
top element will also get updated. What is the element at index 6? That is 85. Okay, this push operation is done now. So, this block is completed, else block. We go for the next iteration of 4. Now, i becomes 7. i becomes 7. But, we have to go only up to n. Means, i should be less than 7. Okay, but here i is equal to 7. So, we stop. So when 7 is equal to 7, we stop because we only have to go less than 7 means 0 to 6. Okay, I will take value from 0 to 6. That is the index of this array. So we stop here. This loop is stopped. So the current status of this span array is our answer. See, what is the span of the stock on each day here? 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 4, 6. So this is the span. So now in our further videos, we will see how to actually code this. Okay. So on the same topic, that is the stock span problem, we will see how to actually implement this algorithm, implement this code. Actually, this is the pseudo code right now. Correct. So we will implement the actual code. Thank you.